Hello, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about offline mode. Now, assuming that I've logged in for this day, or I already was logged in, I just launched the app, I'll be first brought to the schedule screen, or the calendar screen, whatever you would like to refer to it as. To get to the offline mode, I need to first go to settings. So to do this, I'm going to hit the top three lines in the top left corner. As you can see, this opens up all these options, including logout, settings, offers, tasks, open activities, the schedule or calendar screen, and my case load. Where I want to go is settings at the very bottom. So I'm just going to simply tap on settings. Now that I'm at settings, I see change password and offline settings. I'm going to tap on offline settings. Now to enter offline mode, I simply just have to select on offline mode for that little square where the little square that is on offline mode. So I'm going to check, click on offline mode. It's going to give me this little brief description. It's going to say offline mode. Do you want to download your offline data for the next two days now? And that's part of the reason why it's going to download a significant amount of data um, because it's going to download all of your scheduled tasks for the next two days. Um, this means that they'll be available to complete without having internet connection, which is very useful if you're going to lose any um, service or be in a poor service area. So let's say my clients for today are both in poor service areas or I won't have service at all. I'm going to want to go to offline mode to hit download. This is still a fairly small amount of data but can take some time because it's going to download the schedule it's going to download the services for those people, for your clients, for the next two days. And then it's going to download um, any additional information that's with those. As you can see, I got a notification saying offline download complete. If I'm doing this on Wi-Fi, I'm going to want to wait until that finishes downloading before I enter one of these areas or leave the Wi-Fi. Let's say I have poor cell phone service after that. I want to make sure that's done. And as you can see, it's his last download today at 11.30. That means for the next 48 hours from that time, I'm going to have those. Anything after 11.30, a few days from now, it's not going to have there. I'm going to have to exit offline mode to get those that additional information. But that's okay, because once I hit the back here on the top left corner, and then the three lines in the top left corner, and go to the schedule, once I do these clients and complete them, this isn't going to upload to our to Eliacare until I've exited offline mode, because this is disabling the communication um, and allowing the ability to complete those tasks. So I want to just make sure that I hit those three lines after I've completed my clients in the top left corner. Again, it's those three lines in the top left corner, and once I've completed my clients, I can also do this throughout the day. Let's say I'm just doing this for one client, so I just want to exit out after I complete the one client, whatever it may be. So again, the top three lines in the top left corner, and I'm going to go back to settings towards the bottom. I'm going to hit offline settings again, and I'm going to disable offline mode by just checking it, or clicking on it, I mean. As you can see, nothing changed. It'll have immediately loaded what I completed because it's very minimal data it will be very quickly and there's no loading necessary for that um, or and if I need to do this again I just simply come back to offline settings and check offline mode and again that'll allow me to complete my scheduled tasks for the day in offline mode but again whether it's throughout the day or afterwards you're going to want to go back to offline mode and either check it or uncheck it once that is done you'll be all set um, and that'll be all for today. Thank you.